Good morning, Michelle Dreaming English. And I thought I'd give you a little update. I'm back to work. I had six, five or six weeks off during the summer. I actually work in a school and Katerina goes to school as well. And I have a son who's a senior in high school, so that's his last year of secondary school. But everything is online. I actually go in to my school two days a week. My son and daughter stay home and they are online and their teachers, they're live with their teachers. Their teachers are teaching them and all the other students Monday through Friday. It's a mess. Where I live in Massachusetts, we have very low rates of COVID, but they've decided for much of the state to have it be online. Some schools are doing hybrid, which is also not much better because apparently the teacher would be walking around and teaching the students that would go, maybe students would go two days a week and have three days at home and other students would go two days a week and be three days home. But that teacher is teaching the kids at home and teaching the kids in her classroom at the same time, which is kind of crazy because how can she pay attention to the students online and the students in her classroom at the same time? Now, the reason that we are having either online school or hybrid is we can't fit all of our students in the school and have them at least six feet away from each other have them socially distanced. So even though we have very low numbers of COVID, just to be on the safe side, apparently we're taking classes online or we're having a hybrid where some students are going to school and other students are at home. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm in the school two days a week, as I said, and I had students come into my class recently, into my office and they got a little close and I'm worried. I think, okay, let me have two weeks go by and hopefully I don't have COVID. I actually work in a town where we're in the red. So that means that we have high, we have high numbers of COVID in the school that I work in, but where I live, we're in the green. So we have very low numbers of COVID. And I don't know, I don't know what's the right decision. Is it the right decision for the kids to stay home and do their classes online? I know my daughter would really like to go to school. She misses her friends. I know my son would like to be in school. He says he's not learning as much as he could if he was in school. And it's hard for him having his senior year at home. He won't have all the activities. He's in marching band, he plays the saxophone. So there won't be any marching band. There won't be robotics. I made a video last year about the robotics team and there won't be a robotics competition this year. I don't think that's gonna happen. There won't be marching band with him playing the saxophone and football games. All those things aren't gonna happen. There won't be a prom. There won't be all the things that he would normally have in a senior year. So when he gets his yearbook, I don't know what will be in that yearbook. It probably won't have a lot of things in the yearbook. So it's gonna be kind of sad wanted to give you that update. As I am going back to school to work, I go to school because I work in a school. I work at North High School. I work for a program called Gear Up, so that's hence my shirt right here. And Katerina is back to school as well, so we still are going to try to put out two videos a week, but some weeks we might only put out one video. So bear with us. We It's a lot of work to put out the videos and to edit them. I want to be putting out quality content for you to learn from and not just put out a lot of content. So it's better if I take more time and put out some quality content as opposed to a lot of quantity. There's some two words for you, quality and quantity. So I could put out a ton of videos, but they might not be very good. But instead, I might put out only one video a week sometimes, but it's going to be a really good video. At least I think so. I never really wanted to make videos. It wasn't somebody that wanted to be in front of a camera. It was really Katerina's idea, but I'm really loving making the videos and editing them. And 
I look at what I do. I take the green screen and I put lovely backgrounds. And I think what comes out is really, really good. I hope you all are enjoying it. Please let us know in the comments below what kinds of topics you would like to see. We're going to try to make videos according to what you're looking for. Again, I'm going after the whole idea of comprehensible input. So having things, I'm not going to really teach grammar. I'm going to teach you with pictures. I'm going to teach you with draw pictures and drawings and facial expressions and hand gestures. That's how we're going to teach because that's the whole idea of comprehensible input to stay away from boring grammar. So please let us know in the comments below what kind of content you're looking for. And if you like our videos, as always, please subscribe. Please hit the bell so you know when there is new content and please share our content. Please share our videos out. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.